Hello, welcome to tutorial 8 of MIT App Inventor. I am Krishna Raghavendran and in this tutorial we are going to see the logic and the math blocks. So let's start. Before we start, please click the red subscribe button for more interesting videos. So now let's go to the logic blocks. So these logic blocks are for first let's see the true and false blocks. For example, I have a button here and when the button is clicked, we are going to give an if condition or let it be a switch. So I think you don't know how to use switch. So in this tutorial, we will learn that too along with the logic and the math blocks so a switch is something like a toggle so they can on the switch and off it so we we can use this in settings of our app and we can use in many more screens so now let's see what the switch is so here we have many blocks for the switch so when switch one dot change means if they have changed, they have on the switch or off it, then this block will get triggered. So we need to check if it is on or off. If the switch is on, which means it looks like this, off means it looks like this. For that, we are going to put an if condition. If you don't know what if conditions are, please go and see tutorial seven, which is the last video. Yes, so now we have an if condition. So we are going to check if switch one dot on is equal to. So we know this equal block in the logic. We have learned it in the before tutorial itself. If it is true, so we need to put the true block. So we use true to, it's like a Boolean. So this will give a Boolean value for us. Boolean means it it's written it will return true if the switch is on and false if the switch is off So if switch dot on is equal to 2 then it means that they have switched on the switch Which is the toggle So if they have switched on then we are going to show a label So we will set label one dot text to switched on Yes, and then for switch off, what do we need to do? We need to copy paste this if condition. Let's put an else if. So if switch one dot on is equal to false, then it should show switch switched off. Yes, so now if they on the label dot text will be switched on and if they're off it will be switched off so this so now we learn the true and the false and also a switch yes so this not block is something like if not for example if i put switch one dot on is equal to True. This means that if the switch one dot on is not true because we have put a not block here. So that means that they have off the switch. So we can use a not block instead of putting false also. So now we know the not block too. So now let's move on to the next block. We know this equal to block. Let's see this and. So again, we need an if condition. So if this and this. So for this, let's use a button. So 
So here we have a button and we need two text boxes. So it's going to be like a new. So this is going to be the username text box and password text box. For example, if we are going to make a login, we will use this one. So when this button is clicked, if the username and the password is correct, then it should log in. So let's keep the username as my name, which is Krishna and the password as one, two, three. So to check the if condition, we need to use if text box one dot text is equal to. Let's put this here. If the text box one dot text, which is the username, is equal to Krishna, and even the password should be correct, so which is text box two, and the password is one two three. So if this one, which is text box one dot text, is Krishna, which is the correct username, and even the password should also be correct, then only we need to put the login screen so here we have a procedure called login so we can call the login procedure we will learn these procedures in the next few tutorials but i'm just showing this to explain you about this and block so if both of them is correct then it will call login it will login so now we are going to see an or block the difference between an and block and or block is that for or blocks any one of these should be true either the username should be true it should be krishna or the password should be 1 2 3 it is not necessary that both of them should be true for example if they have entered the username correctly and the password not correctly it will go to the login because we have used or block so now we know what the and and the or blocks are yes so now let's learn the math blocks so this is to put a number or an integer so we can also put it here but we should use this so that it would be easy so we use this for a string which in which we will type letters and we use this to type numbers so here also we can type numbers but here we need to but here we cannot type letters for example if i write kr it shows a red and it gets erased so because this is a number block so next is the decimal So first let's see these operations so that it will be easy. So here there is plus, minus, multiplication and division and even exponents. So you can do everything. So there you can calculate. For example, if I put 1 plus 2 and store it in a variable called name then the name variable will be set to 3 so this is used to calculate all these blocks are used to calculate so this is to get a random integer for example if i put 1000 it will get, generate a random number from 1 to 1000 for example 859 59 or 79 something like that So this will generate a random fraction and we have many other for calculation. So now if we have a big decimal number after calculating, for example, if it is like 2.5679, then if we need to round off this to two decimal places or let it be we don't need the decimal places then we can use this one round so if we use this one the output will be 3 because when we round off this it will become 3 and even this is to round but 
to decimal places. So for example, if we have this decimal number, then it, it needs to, do, for example, it needs to round off to two decimal places. So if we put two here, then the output is going to be 2.57 because when we round off 7 to the nearest here we, it will become 2.57 if we put two decimal places and if we put 3 then it will be 2.56 and 8 so we can round off to decimal places using this format as decimal place block. And this is to check if if something is a number. For example, if I put like this 6. So 6 is a number. So this will return true. So that's it. The math blocks are over. So in the next tutorial we will learn the text box and we have already learned the lists in the before tutorials. So thank you for watching this video. Please subscribe, share and like this video. Bye.